Hey guys, how's it going? Um, oh man, I just got a bug bite. We have so many mosquitoes here. It's driving me crazy. I wanted to show you guys my new shirt. I got this new shirt today from Target. Super, uh, I don't know, cool. Is it cool? It's just cool. It's just a nice shirt. This new shirt, and I'm actually, I got it because we have a wedding this weekend for my husband's brother. He's getting married. Caleb and Molly are getting married on Saturday, and so this is my wedding attire shirt, and I'm really happy that I finally found. So anyway, that's my shirt. I also wanted to show you my new leggings. I got these at Forever 21 the other day, and they are awesome. I mean, they're really high-waisted. And my, my other ones that I've just retired because I've gotten these ones, they needed to go. They were getting very worn out because I wear them all the time. But yeah, it's still good. They're super, like, I don't know, just the, the thickness and the elasticity of them, like the combination of those two, it's just good. It's really, really good. So those are my two new clothing items I got. I don't get a lot of new clothes, so that's why I'm showing you guys this because it's really cool. So I know I'm losing my light, but I thought I would um, do my vlog tonight because I didn't really have a lot going on this morning to vlog about. Um, what I'm vlogging about today is a very taboo subject. Okay, so my topic today is I'm gonna be trying to answer the question, why is it bad to ask when somebody or a couple is planning on having a baby? We get it all the time. We have two kids, Piper just turned two, so recently we've been getting a lot like, oh, Piper turned two, when are you gonna have another one? So when's number three gonna happen? Your mom probably wants another grandkid. When's that gonna happen? Hey. So I really don't mind these questions. If you know me personally and you've asked me this before, do not feel bad. I am the type of person who will tell you straight up if I'm not gonna tell you what my plans are. <laughs> so I really don't mind the the, the that question. It's just, I, I, I'm not bugged by it, but I know that there are a lot of people who are bugged by that question. Um, a lot of newlyweds, obviously, because it's, it's, it is personal, but people are just excited for you. So I hope if, if you're out there and you're one of those people who gets super annoyed by this question, just know that people are excited and they love you and your spouse and they're excited to have more of you. But I started thinking about this because we've been getting that question a lot. I started thinking, why is it so bad to ask someone um, when they're gonna have another baby. I think the answer is, it, it's a little bit, just because it is personal, I mean, making a baby is very personal, like, you know, how, the, how it happens. So just asking, like, when you're gonna have a baby, it's just, it's amongst the personal issues that should be kept private. I think that's the main reason why people um, think it's inappropriate. Just maybe they are having infertility issues and they don't want to tell anyone about it and it just makes them really sad every time someone asks them, when are you gonna have a baby? But either way, that's kind of all I have to say about this topic is that if you are a person who is like asking your your kids or your grandkids or um, people in your at church, if you're gonna ask, just be cautious. Not very classy to bring it up. Sometimes I like the idea of just straight up lying to people and be like, you know, we're done. We're done having kids. And then if you dig a pregnant again, everyone's happy. And it's like a cool thing. Just kidding, lying is bad. But it is an option for annoying people who ask too many personal questions. Okay, so I just typed it into Google how to respond to people who are asking you when you're gonna have kids. And there are some pretty good ones. So here's one option, just shut them down. I don't know, maybe never. Until then, you should probably stop asking me. This one might be clever. What answer can I give you so that you'll stop asking? Some of these are kind of rude. I don't wanna, I don't like to be rude to people because they're just interested in your life. So here's another option, gracefully dance around the issue. You could say, that's a really great question. I wish I knew the answer. That's a good one, especially if you are a, uh, if you're suffering through infertility. You could say something like, when the time is right, it will happen. Oh, this one's cute, you could say, I don't know, but I'm starting my list of babysitters now. Can I count you in? You could say, well, not at least for another nine months. So clever. So anyway, that wraps up my vlog for today. Um, I know it was probably super boring, but it's just been on my mind, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Any horror stories of people asking you questions like this, feel free to put them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. So last night, Porter comes into my room and he says that his ear is hurting really bad and it's hurting really bad, mom, and it hurts, and he couldn't sleep, and he was crying, and it was really sad. 
So I took him to the doctor today and sure enough he has a slight ear infection and a fever to go along with it. So that's what we're dealing with right now as he's going to bed. He's he's super cold and and just not feeling good, huh buddy? Hmm? You're not feeling good? Does it hurt? No. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Good night. Okay, you sleep tight, okay? Let me know if you need anything. Love you. Love you. Don't close the door. Oh, okay. Good night.